sweetie. I'm glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes. No drugs. No theories. We go back to the start. Understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. been unfaithful? Is that true? Okay. Let's get started then. Cheryl! Cheryl? Sweetie? Oh my god. Cheryl? 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 Cheryl! Cheryl. Sweetie? Not now. Sweetie? Cheryl. Hmm, Cammy. Cheryl. Sweetie?
Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl.
Hallelujah. I knew this weather couldn't keep everyone away. <laughs> Name your poison. I'm looking for my daughter. In this weather? <laughs> if she's out, she'll be at the Balkan. That's a bar over on Block Street. No, she's a little girl. She's seven years old. We were in a car accident. I came to and she was gone. Oh, shit. I'd offer to call for help, but the phones are all out because of the storm. The town's kind of empty. This is her. Oh, a real daddy's girl. If you see her... This your ID? Yeah. Well, it says you live at Levin Street. That's a few blocks from here. Levin Street. That's where I live. That accident of yours, you take a knock to the head? Yeah. Your phone? My phone? It cut off. Like I said, phones are all shot to hell. I think that was her. She must be at the house. Wait. Have a drink before you head out. You seem pretty shaken up. I need to get home. She must be waiting for me there. Okay. I'm going to lock up out back. No point in staying open in this weather. <laughs> Best of luck. Hello? Cheryl? Sweetie? to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. Whatever ails us, whatever weaknesses our flesh may suffer under, our love will cure all ills. Our love will be our rock.
Cheryl? Daddy? Daddy? Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there. Wait for me. You have to run, Daddy. You can't fight them. Run! What? Is somebody with you? Cheryl, I'm coming to get you. Damn it! It's good that we touched on the car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. It's important to you. 
For you, family is about physical affection and making your feelings known. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? Would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you? Uh-huh. People can choose their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Nothing surprising there. No. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. You're finished. What a lovely family home. Is your home like this? Are you okay, son? No! What are you people doing in my house? Cheryl! Easy there. This isn't your house. Some trouble, honey? No, Lucy. This man here is just a little confused. This is my house! Well, I don't see how that can be the case. We've been here nearly 14 years. Sure you got the right address? Who was that? That was our daughter, Katie. You're in a bad way, son, getting yourself all worked up. Are you okay? I am not okay. I was in a car accident. My daughter is gone, and you people are in my house. This is all wrong. You're starting to make a scene. This doesn't make sense. Not at all. You know what's funny? I've been a cop in this town for 20 years. Before that, I used to ride around in my daddy's patrol car, so I know the town, know the people. But your face? I don't know you. I keep out of trouble. Not tonight. Well, I guess tonight everything is out of whack. Why are we the only car on the road? No one's sane out driving tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's okay. What is with all this snow? Who knows? We only covered basic meteorology in the academy. Hell, we didn't hear about this till it was happening. Barely had time to close off the major highways. It's like the whole town is being punished. It's only weather. Sure. You okay back there? Sure. Holding up. I'm sure your daughter's okay. We've just got to clear this thing up. We should probably get you to the hospital, too, once we know she's safe. <sighs> Fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. He was never the same after that. You gotta look after yourself, Harry. For your daughter's sake. Point taken. Damn, this snow is crazy. Oh, I can't see the road. 
Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. Pick up. I need you. I'm at a party in the woods, but I'm feeling uncomfortable. I need you to come pick me up. Gonna need a key. 